What's up iFam, good morning. Welcome to the chaos that is this afternoon here. We are, it is our life right now. We are just checking out, or getting ready to check out of our Airbnb. The lovely owner was absolutely amazing and was like yesterday, she was like, I've got nobody else in. So take your time leaving today, no checkout time basically, just get out when you want. So we've taken advantage of that today, which has been really lovely. We had a lovely late breakfast and we've had a lovely bit of lunch and then we've packed up the van at our leisure rather than rushing out and it's been really, really nice. The weather is not the best today, but it's not the worst either. So we're good or we're good. We're good or we're, what? <laughs> we're good at the minute. And we've got a little bit of a plan to get some last sights seen here in the island that we're on right now before we move on to pastures new further down south. So we've got two epic things to go and see on the island here today. And I think we might also wild camp on this beach that we were at last night because it was absolutely incredible. We don't really want to rush and leave the island today because there's some really cool things to see between here and the next town that we'll probably need like a full day for and maybe a bit better weather as well. So we're gonna finish seeing our bits here on the island and then we're gonna move down and out of here tomorrow. But before then, we've got tons of cool stuff to see and do, so. Everybody ready and packed up pretty much? Yeah. All looking forward to getting back out? Yeah. Yes, this has been an amazing little Airbnb stay, but definitely ready to get back on the road. <laughs> Dada's gonna steal you. Dada's yeah. stealing you. <laughs> and I couldn't be matching with anyone else. <laughs> my Isla. Move my hair. <laughs> Move the mane. Me and Isla are twinning today, and we're yes. absolutely loving life. And? And it's my first day being 10, first full day being 10 actually, because yeah, I was born at 2.52, so I actually took off like two hours. <laughs> Almost three. Hours. Yeah. Day. Even though it was sleepy time. Yeah. Mm, let's get ready to go. So we just left our little house. We just stopped over just to sort something out in the van, but look how scary these waves are again today. This island looks incredible. I so love to live here and like swim out or like sail out or maybe just get in a rubber ring. <laughs> float out <laughs> to this island it looks a rubber dinghy out <laughs> and go and explore it though I'm not sure there'll be much to explore it just looks like green grass but it still looks so cool just sat there in the middle of the ocean well not quite in the middle of the ocean but you know what I mean so we were going to park here tonight however just noticed that that means no guys however there was another one of these a little bit further around the beach right around the other side and you can definitely camp there for the night because the well number one there was no sign saying you couldn't like there is here and number two there was a few camper vans there last night when we left who'd set up for the night they put the curtains up and things so we might pack there we're only parked here right now to try and upload the vlog because it's uploading so slowly like one percent every like 20 minutes when we're moving and we're obviously when we're driving it's dropping in and out of signal however it's still taking really slow isn't it it's still going really slow saying it's going to be like 40 minutes and this is an hour this yeah is two hours. It's just 40 minutes, so. yeah so 40 minutes an hour two hours 40 minutes so we're just going to wait here a little bit and hopefully it won't be too late going up tonight we're not going to wait too long though because we don't want to waste our day but this view look at these waves they're literally rolling in for miles. They look so cool. So, so cool. Also, we were just watching um, is it a windsurfer, babe. A windsurf man down there. He's just putting his equipment away. It was just on the water. It looks so cool. inside a medieval Hi. castle right now. I think that is pretty oh. cool. Right inside uh -huh. the island. I would love to have seen it in all its glory back. Yeah, like we have a torch. Yeah, yeah the fire torches yeah. would have been, been so absolutely cool. incredible.
Okay, so one thing that we definitely forgot about today was the fact that it's Sunday and everywhere closes at four o'clock. So we have no food in the van left. So our plan was to go to a supermarket on our way out today and pick up some stuff, but we left it a bit too late and the supermarket's all shut. So we also need some milk for tonight. That is essential. We cannot go till tonight without some milk because we need brews in the van, you know? It's all about when you get into the van in an evening and it's cold and you can get your cup of tea and watch your Netflix or whatever's going on. So we desperately need milk and I can get that from Circle K, which is what I'm doing right now. But we can't get no food, unfortunately, because there is literally nowhere around here that is open right now. So we've decided we're gonna go visit a diner for dinner tonight after we've done this milk stop. So fingers crossed, we're gonna have some milk in here. Oh no, it's not looking good. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, perfect. The only bad thing is that I never know which one to get, whether it's the red cap or the blue cap, so that's the semi-skimmed. I'm gonna go with the light milk. Okay, so now we're all good. Evening save, we can have a cup of tea, and um, we'll catch up on some groceries tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you two look so alike right now. <laughs> Mila's face is just slightly rounder. <laughs> so tonight, for our last night on a Kill Island, I keep, I keep forgetting what it's called. We've decided to come to the American, no, it's not American, why did I say that? To the little diner that we ate at on our second night here. We did actually make a home cooked meal on the first night here. I don't feel guilty at all for coming here again because it's actually all home cooked food. I it's didn't so even realise well. that before. But um, yeah, there's signs up everywhere saying home cooked food. Yeah, and even, it's even all, the, all the burgers are not like from like a chain or something. They're all like no, they're handmade. Making, she just told handmade me. From the mince. She just told me. I asked what the difference was between a diner burger and another burger, and she's like, we hand make them. So <clears throat> she hand makes the diner burger. So, yes, darling. I want that. What do you want? Yeah. Why don't you say, Isla, please, can I have a turn of your dentist kit? I want. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. Nice manners. So, yeah, it's our last night here. We sat in the van. We'd finished up at that castle place, and we were going to. <laughs> it's okay. We were going to go back to our spot for the night and cook some dinner. And then we realised that we don't actually have that much food in the van. We do have soups and things. Oh, right, okay. Well, I won't repeat it. We do have soups and things, but not like full on meals. And I think everyone's quite hungry tonight, so. I thought, the thought of soup is just not going it. I all. quite fancied soup and bread with butter. But he didn't cut it for Chris. We needed a cup of tea though, so we've got the milk. Got the we're milk. all good. <laughs> we got the milk. Sorry. Anyway, so we've come back here for dinner tonight. And we've waiting for our meals to come out now, and I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness for that big search line. <laughs> I won't be able to see anything down here. Okay, park up, all secure. Everything's all gone into lounge, stealthy bed mode. We've got JC's bed set up, Isla's bed set up. Everyone's currently on my bed with Sarah right now. Isabel and Esme are watching something on their bed right now. And I am currently making some cups of tea. Well, everybody's not on your bed, are they? If Isabel and Esme are down there. Most people are on my bed right now. <laughs> anyway, it's very nice and warm tonight. The wind is savaging us right now. But we figure that we're parked right on the beach right now, so we're going to get a bit more wind. But it's windy everywhere tonight, so it doesn't matter really where we park. On this island, we're going to get wind. So we figure we might as well wake up somewhere beautiful as well. But Because we're going to get wind no matter where we are. Oh, but outside of the window, as I'll show you in the morning, it will be incredible because we're right on the beach. So, and the beach is stunning where we are. Scary flying shark. <laughs> oh, it's about to go. It's just about to go. We're gonna get a good whistle tonight. The whistle's literally pathetic on this kettle. Sometimes it doesn't. It's going out here. I think it's doing it now. There you go. I mean, it's it's better than usual. Oh, that's actually that's that's, that's a lot better than usual. But it's never doing it like that. Are you tired? I think you sleepy girl. 
Mama's sleepy mama. Oh my gosh, she's got the hiccup in my throat. Anyway, we're going to end the vlog here. The wind is savage tonight, so I don't know why I'm bothering to go to bed. I'm definitely not going to sleep. Mila, don't turn the camera off. Stop pulling it out my hand. <laughs> She's having a paddy. Paddy pig. Paddy pig. What's this? The claw. The claw's coming. Rawr. Ready. Rawr. The claw's coming. <laughs> you little cutie pie! Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog here because we're going to bed. That's why we're ending the vlog. Thank you all for watching. We're leaving Akil Island tomorrow. I, I don't know why, but every time I go to say that, I never, like, you know, stop pulling my you get, hand. You get it right every time. I, don't I, I do get it right every time. I don't know, but I hesitate every time. I don't know why, but it's Akil Island. And we're leaving here in the morning, heading on to a brand new place. This has been the most magical, amazing, beautiful, stunning place I've ever been. Aside from Switzerland, or in line with Switzerland, because that was pretty mind-blowing but this has been incredible and I'm just so grateful that we've been able to come here and experience it but now I need to get Mila to bed so I'm going to say good night here thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm good night guys bye